here with the Sky Master again for section 3. This is my 1961 fishing scot, and I guess you could call this my little baby because, as you can see, it's just that clean. It comes with the original bag. I mean, this is one of my favorites. The motor is, I got this from Dave DeWalt up in Park Rapids. If you're part of the Antique Upper Motor Club group, you've probably seen his classified under the classified ads. He's got about 650 boat motors. This motor, I think me and my dad paid uh, 75 bucks for, but it's worth, well worth it because it's just that clean. Brought it home and I cleaned it up. I mean, man, it's just that nice. Go around, this is the, kind of the deluxe model, as I would call it, because it has the rubber in the inside, so it doesn't vibrate as much, even in the choke. And it's got the Scott logo, or McCulloch logo on there. It says, built by McCulloch, and it says Scott. It's got the different kind of a um, uh, tiller handle. If you guys ever find a tiller handle that you can put the, if you have the steering bracket for it and the control set for this, please let me know because I'm, I've been looking for one of those. Um, if you go around to the back, it's got the same medallion except it's red and white, but it's yellow because it's faded. But we'll look at this side. It's got the red, it just says fishing, Scott. Everything's nice, they're replaced at all. This motor don't quite run that well. It pumps water, I know that. But um, I'm going to take the hood off for you, just so you can see. But this one's got these special hood push-in deals. As you, right, right there, they got, you got to push them in instead of the thing on the bottom. But I, Now, this motor is clean underneath. Very clean, but this actually, this is a... 64 Ted Williams motor on here because the one that was it had that much mice in here that it got locked up But everything's went through it don't I've kind of jerry-rigged it a little bit so you can see that but Still a really good motor We'll take a look at the bag quick It says Scott on it, and it's got the parts for your fishing stuff These motors only weighed 64 pounds, and then you only about uh, I'd say four feet high four four feet seven inches. I think it's a really good motor, and I'm glad I have it in one of my collection. Stay tuned for section four because I'm going to do my last motor I have in the garage here of the Fishing Scout series. And then we might take a look at my great grandpa's 3.6 and uh, Evanrude Alto. Let's catch you on the lake, the Scott Master.